Hey guys, Brian here, and I'm going to show you how to do propor proportional motor speeds, also known as k-value. Some things that you'll need for this, um, VEX EDR motors, um, for making a test bed, um, the encoders, um, either shaft encoders or integrated encoders, whichever one you're comfortable comfortable with using. Um, the Cortex, of course, you'll need that. And then, however you want to build up your test bed, that is also, you'll need that. Um, battery power. Uh, you want to use the large, the large 7.2 batteries for VEX. Um, they'll give you more output and more trials that you can perform. You should try to use charge batteries. Um, if you don't use charge battery, it will affect your outcome and how many times you can have to test before it goes out on you and dies. So try and keep the voltage at least um, above 7 volts. It Roughly about that, I would say. Don't let it get too low. Any lower than 6.5 won't be good for your results. Try and keep it at least above 7. If you can't keep it above 7, let it get down to 6.5 at your minimum. What is proportional motor speed or K value? K value is the rate of which your motors um, rotate compared to the other motors. Uh, to find K value, um, you're going to need a platform, like I said. doesn't matter what kind. It's just something to test your motors on. You can do one how like I have mine here. Um, you don't need the... You don't have to have an LCD screen or exactly how I have it here. You don't need any of that. You can if you want to. You don't have to, though. Um, you want then to make a simple code for running your motor speed at the speeds which you will run them when you're using them for your robot. It's simple coding. Um, I put 60. That's how I normally run my robot um, speed. And so whatever you normally have your robot running at, just run at the same speed. And you can always change it from there. After your first and test in finding K value. Um, after first of all your tests, you'll need to take the data you received and add all your values up to so all the motors um, you have running. Take the, all the values that you get from those motors and add them all up and then divide that number that you get from adding them all up with and divide by the number of motors you have for this test. That will be your average. You'll then take your motor output, each um, individual motor's output, and it'll divide that by the average. That will be your K value. The number should be roughly about 1. It, it can be higher, it can be lower. It will be around 1, though. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day.